Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So today I need to put together a small bouquet. It's a bridesmaid's bouquet out of faux flowers that the bride brought to me. So I don't have very many blooms to work with for this bouquet and in order to make the bouquet large enough, I thought we would make an armature out of some chicken wire. This is chicken wire I picked up from our local um, hardware store. You can pick it up just about anywhere. Now you can also get it um, from your craft store if you wanted to. I just find the local hardware store is the easiest place for me. It's very inexpensive. Um, you get a really big roll for I mean about $20. So it's not very expensive and it goes a long way in floral design. So what I'm gonna do is that this is just a small piece that we cut off. I'm gonna make a very small armature. So I'm just taking my wire snips. These are cobalt wire snips. They are my favorite um, because they just work so great. Um, they're not hard to they're not hard to use, they cut real easily. And then I'm gonna take this and cut it in half. Now this seems like it's going to be tiny, but it's going to be easier to cover up. So I have a very small little piece. I mean, about the size of the palm of my hand, okay? I'm gonna roll it over. And I am going to just kind of pinch that together. Now I'm gonna take these little wires. You have to be careful because it will cut you, okay? Um, and you can make, really, you can make these any size you need to. I find if it's smaller, it's gonna be a little easier to cover up, okay? So I just took and I bit all those pointy pieces towards the inside of the, of the, um, the little armature. So there we go, it's really small but it's going, I'm gonna show you what a difference it's going to make. So, pardon me, I sneezed. I've got some aller seasonal allergies going on, so I ask your forgiveness for me sniffing. So I have taken, let me show you real quick. Um, my bride brought me this really beautiful blush and white um, floral bush. Um, she picked it up from the local um, craft store um, and she really loved this so we're going to use this. Now she asked that we use half of the bush for my floral design and so that's the reason I have so few flowers um, but this is just one of the bushes. I'm going to set that to the side. So I've got my stems and I'm going to take I've already cut them off the bush and I separated them so I would know how many stems I could put into my arrangement. I'm going to take the foliage and I'm just pushing it up toward the head of the flower. Okay, just like that. I'm going to take my armature and I'm going to feed that stem right down in to that armature. Now what the armature is actually going to do for us is it's separating these stems so they're not all stuck together. Um, if I did not use an armature, they're going to all be in a little tight, um, a tight knot, basically. They're not going to have a whole lot of form. And because I'm using this, it helps me to separate those blooms a little bit. Now, the great part about faux flowers is they are on a stem that's, that is wire, so they bend pretty well. You know, you can kind of bend them and manipulate them and place them kind of where you want them. And then the last piece, this is just a little bit of filler flower. I'm gonna tuck right there into the center. So here is my little hand tied bouquet. Um, so it's just a sweet little hand tied bouquet. Now, she also brought me um, plumes of pompous grass. And so I'm gonna show you what we're going to do with those. I'm gonna lay my bouquet down the nice part about that armature too is that I can lay it down and it's not gonna fall apart, which is a blessing. I'm going to take my wire snips and I am going to take this pompous grass and cut it into small pieces. The little extra pieces that come off, I'm gonna lay to the side and we're going to use these for the boutonnieres and the corsages. So I'm just gonna lay those to the side. I'm not gonna throw them away. 
And I'm just taking my little wire snips and I am just cutting these pieces, this pompous, into pieces, okay? So it's going to go further if I cut it apart. All right, so there are se several pieces. I'm actually gonna cut that one in half too. So there's several pieces of pompous grass. So I'm gonna take my flowers and I'm going to take this pompous grass plumes and I'm just tucking that right through that armature. The same as I did with the flowers themselves. I am just taking my little plume and tucking it all the way around in these flowers, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna take this little piece and I am going to nestle it down into the bouquet. So it's kind of in the center of the bouquet there. Now let me tell you a little trick about the pompous. If you will take it, I'm gonna cut that in half again. If you will take it and spray it with a clear polyurethane, it's not gonna shed quite as badly, or if you have hairspray, that works too. But I find the clear polyurethane is a little bit stiffer than hairspray and we'll keep it from shedding everywhere. Okay, so there's my little bouquet. Simple, 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 but so sweet. Um, and so she will be able to, the girls will be able to carry it just like this. Um, now, I'm going to take some waterproof tape. And if I can find the end, there we go. I am just going to tape this bouquet together, okay? There's a little piece that came loose. I'm just gonna take this bouquet and I'm going to tape all those little pompous grass plumes and my stems together. The wonderful thing about faux flowers is that we're able to make them way ahead of time. They will not pick, this wedding is on the 18th of March and they won't pick up these flowers until um, the Wednesday before the wedding. So see how simple but very pretty this little bouquet is. Now to finish it, I will take and add just a little bit of fresh eucalyptus around the perimeter of the arrangement. Now, I don't know if you can see very well, but you can kind of see the armature um, that I have tucked the flowers through. That's completely okay because I'm going to cover it with the eucalyptus. I will tape the stems just like I did here and then we will add just a touch of ribbon to cover up my tape. But there is a simple hand tied bouquet. Guys, I hope this, I hope this helps with um, being able to put together just a small hand tied bouquet either in fresh or artificial blooms. It really works the same way both both ways, whether it's fresh or artificial. If you have any questions about how we make arrangements or the different ways we do things, don't hesitate to ask those questions in the comments below. Um, and if you would, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that um, subscribe button right down below. And if you hit that little bell, it will give you notifications when we have a new video. Guys, y'all have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you real soon.